Bonjour and welcome to this video. Today we'll be covering the next topic in chapter 2 which is functions. You should have covered functions in GCSE. To recap, a function is something which provides a rule on how to map inputs to outputs and that they were a formal way of describing a number machine where you input y into a function machine f to get an output in this case which is 5y. At the bottom of the screen is how you would write a function in maths. In A-level, you will learn two new keywords, which is domain and range, and you'll come across long and extensive questions, especially in further chapters. So if you struggle with functions at this stage, you will have to brush up on them and be confident in your skill. As I was saying, the domain is a function of a function is the set of possible inputs, in this case, x. The range of a function is a set of possible outputs, in this case f of x. Sometimes the domain of a function could potentially be any real number. If that is the case, we'll write as it's shown on the screen, x is a member of the set of real numbers. For a question, we might be interested in what out inputs x gives an output of 0. These are known as the roots of a function, i.e where it crosses the x-intercept. We would have to calculate for the values of x in which f of x equals to 0. Please pause the video and have a go at the question. So for the first part you would input x equals to minus 3 and you should get minus 6. For part b you would equate f of x and g of x to give you x squared plus 5x equals x, minus, uh, x plus 5. Move everything to one side to equal it to 0. Factorize and they should give you the answer of x minus 5 and x equals to 1. For part c, the roots of a function is given when f of x is equal to 0, which in this case is 0 and minus 5. For part d, create 0 and you should get minus 5. Please have a go at this question. Pause the video. So firstly, you may have done a trial and error approach of trying a few values of x. And you could should have got an answer of 3, where x equals 3, and that's where the minimum occurs. However, the best way to find a minimum slash maximum value of a quadratic is to complete the square which should have given you x minus 3 squared minus 7 and to find the minimum should be where the turning point is which is 3 minus 7 or you could sub in values have a look at this exam question This question tests your indice, laws of indices and factorizing skills. So for part A, in my opinion, I would change 3 to the power of x into a letter, which I have gone for x. So I should get x squared minus 28x plus 27, as 3 to the power of 2x is the same as 3x squared, which is the same as x squared. Factorize to the x minus 27 and x, x minus 1, change the, the x or any other letter back into the 3 to the power of x, and you should have got 3x minus 27 times 3x minus 1. For part b, to find the roots, you equate a equal to 0, and you should get x equals to 3 and x equals to 1. An easier way. As we have not covered logarithms so as of yet, this type of question can be done by inspection, where 3 to the power of x, where 27 is the same as 3 cubed, therefore x equals to 3, and 1 is the same as 3 to the power of 0, where, and then x equals 0. When using logarithms, which we'll cover in a later chapter, this can be done in a much simpler way, especially when numbers 
are not as explicit as shown. For the final extension question, have a look at this question. So for part A, F and G are shown. So for part A, find F G of X is a composite function where F G of X is the same as the F in brackets G of X where the input is 2x plus 3. Put that into the function f of x to give you 2x plus 3 squared plus 2 2x plus 3 plus 9. Expand and simplify to give you 4x squared plus 16x plus 24. For part b, do the exact same thing, but instead of 2x plus 3 being an input in function f, in function g, x squared plus 2x plus 9 is an input. And Expand and factorize to give you 2x squared plus 4x plus 21. For part C, this was a very long question. And you should have got an answer of either minus 3 plus root 15 over 2 or minus 3 minus root 15 over 2. The steps are shown on the screen. Thank you for listening to the video. Please subscribe and like my channel. If you have any comments, please comment them in the section below. Thank you.